Hey there, internets. I am Un, and this is I Played a Thing, Tokyo Jungle. I just had an excitement. Remember how last time I talked about the difficulties I was having using Audacity and Amarek TV at the same time? Well, I did try setting Amarek TV's priority a little lower just to see if that would help. And when I tried uh, running them both at the same time, not only did Amarek TV stomp on Audacity, but it also blasted this otherworldly hideous shriek across my headphones. I wish uh, Audacity had still been running so it could have captured the screech I let out when this happened, and uh, my head still hurts a bit. Never let it be said, I don't suffer from my art. Anyway though, uh, so I switched over from Amarek TV 3 to 4. Uh, I had been using 3 because Amarek TV 4 is only available in Japanese. But, uh, I noticed the settings were in more or less the same place for the most part, so I was able to get Amarek TV 4 configured despite it not being in a language that I can read. And so far it seems to be working. It has not yet stomped on Audacity, and it has not yet blown my eardrums out. So hopefully uh, these trends will continue. Anyway, last time we did uh, unlock several new animals and picked up several new archives. And we also got access to the next story mission, which I hate. Unfortunately, until we complete that story mission, we will not be able to pick up any new archives for the next one. They simply won't spawn in survival mode. So let's get this shit show over with. Act 8. A Spy is Born. Today brings another request for help from the Nomad Lions. For your support, the hyenas will be allowed to hunt in the lion's territory. The hyenas' top secret work is once again about to begin. Yeah, we've got some uh, tactical hyena espionage action here, and the stealth mechanics don't work super well. You'll see. There are two types of male lions here in the Tokyo jungle. The first type lives in a group known as a pride. They dominate and mate with the females. The second type are wanderers. These lions do not live in a pride. They are called nomads. Their only hope for mating with a female is to take a pride from another male. The nomads have a hyena under their command and they are plotting to take over a pride. The lions have given their hyena underling an order. You are to go and find the current location of the pride living within the Yamanote line. You must obey or lose your life. Once again, you choose to live, as any sensible hyena would do. Any hope for a surprise attack will be lost if the enemy lions spot you. Alright, let's take a look at our map. I noticed that our, hunt, er, our hunger gauge starts out at 50%, so that's not the greatest situation. We'll probably want to grab a snack if we get a chance. I don't remember this mission in a great amount of detail, only that it was horrible. So... Well, we'll just see how, uh, how things go. Maybe it won't be quite as bad as I remember, not bloody likely. Okay, these are not lions, so it's okay if they see me. And that's good, because our hunger gauge was dropping. Very good. Now, well fed. Don't want to fuck around with any buffalo if I don't have to. Okay, hunger gauge is starting to drop again, so I think a deer would be a good idea. Ah! Nuts. Alright, that didn't quite go according to plan, but it'll do. I'm not sure if the stealth part has actually kicked... Oh yeah, there we go. 
There's a lion lady. We will want to use the grass to the fullest possible extent to make sure we don't get spotted. Hmm. We need to watch for an opening. There we go. Alright, still not spotted. Well, actually we are spotted, being a hyena, but in the being seen sense of the term, we're fine. Okay, oh, no, that ain't good. Looks like their vision does not have a whole lot of range, though. bright eyes. There we go. Going through the train seems like a decent idea. There's even something to eat there. Oh shit. Yeah, we got some attention there, but not very long-lasting attention. They're still trying to figure out what the hell happened over there. That made enough noise to piss off the croc, but it doesn't matter if the croc sees us. It's just the lionesses we have to worry about. That one seems more interested in the croc at the moment, so we will just take advantage of that opportunity. So far, this isn't too bad, but... If memory serves, this is not the part of the mission that is a major problem. If I recall correctly, this is a fairly long mission, and it gets much, much worse. I do not think we are large enough to quick kill a lioness, so I am not even going to try it. This is a sneaking mission. Oh shit. That almost went squirrely. Right, and as soon as this lioness turns her back on us, I'm gonna pop back into the train and see if I can continue along that route. Seems okay so far. Looks like there's something on the roof up there, and it is in fact a lion, but we can just sneak on under him. Yeah, can't go that way. Alright. We will take the outside of the train path and hopefully find something to eat before too much longer because uh, the hunger gauge situation is somewhat in decline. Well, they are really not paying very much attention here. I get in the grass and... There we go. This is a more promising train path. Holy shit, are there a bunch of lines up ahead. <laughs> you found the pride. Yay for me. Hurry back the way you came and report to the nomads. Can do. Well, I note we are somewhere around the 10 minute mark and Audacity has not shot itself yet. We are still rolling. This bodes well. I really put off upgrading to Amarek TV4 for quite a while because, well, it wasn't in any language that I understood, but if these trends continue, then that will be what I needed to do all along. I just had to brave the process of configuring it in Japanese. Who knew? Of course, it could always be that Amarek TV4 is also going to shit the bed and just has not yet decided to do so. But I'm trying to be optimistic about this.
kind of hoping I run into some prey species soon because my hunger situation is not getting any better. Thankfully, it does appear that their visual range, if not their uh, field division, is fairly genome soldier like. go. A bit of water will stave off starvation for a little while. Take advantage of some of the ultra-violence being per uh, perpetrated between the, the crocs and the lions there. <laughs> he really wants me. Look at him hop. Oop. That is not what was intended, but thankfully I... Oh, shit. The enemy lion spotted you. Any hopes for a surprise attack is gone. You fail it. Your skill is not enough. Alright, did I get checkpointed at some decent location here? I think I did. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Oh, that almost went highly wrong. Okay, once again, we are having a little melee between the lions and the crocodiles. That particular environment seems set up for such a thing to happen, and I'm not gonna knock it. Now let's see, are these blips on my radar all lions or... Oh my goodness, yes. I'm not even sure how the hell they expect me to get past all that. Well, we'll start out with a hide in the grass. With any luck, they will all turn in ways that allow me to sneak through. He said optimistically. Wow, I can't believe that worked. Not the greatest situational, uh, situational awareness there in the Leonine family. could really use something to eat, but we're making pretty good progress, and oh, there's a deer over there. That should help matters. Or is that an antelope? Well, we'll know in a moment when we bite it. A gazelle, okay. Ah, oh, shit. You heard that? And you know what? Again, if I, rem if I am remembering this mission correctly, this still isn't even the obnoxious part of it. <laughs> I like the way my uh, quick kill reticle is directly on her ass there. Yeah, just go ahead and bite a lion right on the butt, see how well that works out for you. Now, let's see. Nope, can't do that. We can do this. And I will just have to remember that murdering prey does in fact generate noise. Well, I suppose that's sensible enough. Okay, you all need to turn the other way. Now, how did I do this before? I don't even remember. Hopefully they'll all get synced up in a way that lets me just sneak on by. Like this, maybe? Oh! Alright, you know what? I, I said this wasn't the, uh, the obnoxious part of the mission. That was maybe a little charitable of me. It is certainly an obnoxious part of the mission. Right, it looks like when the crocs are fighting with the lions, they just are not interested in me at all. 
They've got other problems to deal with. Good to know. Now the question becomes, how do I deal with this bullshit? I snuck through it once, but... I'm not even sure exactly what I did that made it work. Oh! I just barely tapped the joystick and... Yep, slipped right out of the grass. At some point I will probably have to cut this video. I'll give it one more try before I start trying to do it off camera. I could get a croc to follow me all the way up here and keep chasing me. Maybe he could be used as a distraction in this hard to sneak through area here? I don't think that's the way the game intends it to be done, but... Oh yeah, he's not starting a melee, he's just looking around and losing interest. Aha! Now's my chance. I'm not at all sure that it's how the game intended me to get that done, but it worked. That is all I care about right at this moment. Now I just have to not get caught in this part, so I do not have to do all that shit over again. You saw nothing. Alright, this time, gotta focus on my sneaking, not make any noisy kills. Yeah, just, just run away, guys. I'm not in a good position to go eating you right now. Oh, it looks like we're fairly free and clear at this point. Can it truly be? As a matter of fact, it is. A lion cub spotted you. Well, you know what that means. No witnesses. Oh, rather nice of the game to give me an easy objective to make up for all the bullshit I was just dealing with with the whole stealth business. Now I suspect we will have a straight shot back to the Nomads, looks that way. But if memory serves, they'll, there will be more to come, and it will not be good times. The hyena told the lion where the lion pride is currently located. The nomads march under cover of darkness. A bloody battle is about to begin. Okay. You know what? I take it all back. There must be another stealth mission, because this was not what I thought uh, Act 8 was. That was fairly annoying, but not too bad. There, I distinctly remember another stealth mission that gave me fits. But we get to kick that a little further down the road, and I am completely okay with that. And Audacity is still rolling. How about them apples? Alright. Well then, we can head back into Survival... Try to unlock a new critter, and try and collect some more archives. So let's see, our new ones are the sheep, and the retriever. And last time out, the last animal we were was the black buck, so we'll continue doing the alternating between predator and grazer things, and we'll be the retriever. And 
you know what? I've been meaning to make use of some of the, uh, the equipable items that I've been picking up, so let's get decked out. Yeah, baseball cap. We'll be Air Bud. And uh, that is, that's part of the hip hop series, isn't it? Yes, indeed. If you wear all the pieces of clothing in a particular outfit, you get bonuses from that. I doubt we'll have all of the hip hop set, though. Alright, we'll just wear a standard jacket. This is not so much an Air Bud look as uh, some sort of animal boy scout. Just to make this completely silly, let's put on the kitty paws. Now that is a noble descendant of the wolf right there. With one year passing, our first round of challenges is kicked in. We have to kill a bunch of animals, we have to do a bunch of marking, I think it was. Yes, indeed, a bunch of marking, and we have to go to Shibuya Suburbs, which is going to take us away from the archives, but hopefully we'll have enough time and enough survivability to turn around and make our way back that way. <laughs> a girl's school uniform. Well, we'll just have to exploit that at some point. Even as ridiculous as the kitty paws are, I kind of like the look that we've got going on with the retriever, though, so I'm going to leave him in the jacket and the cap and all that. What is my rank? I'm still a rookie. So, you know what? I'm going to hold off on the whole propagating the species. That pig had an antenna. That's weird. Is it a visitor pig from a far-off advanced civilization? I think the only sensible answer is yes. Hey, and the murder challenge is complete. Getting pretty close to boss ranking as well. And a raincoat. Could this day get any better? As a matter of fact, the day can get better because this should also take care of that rank or er, marking challenge. Alright, territory is claimed and I am at boss rank, so let's see if we can find a top quality mate. And hey, found one right away. How's that for ah go go go? How's that for luck? Just gotta make our way back to the nest up here, and we should be able to then get to Shibuya Suburbs in just enough time. Maybe we'll have a little time to spare. And we should get a good stat spread from our uh, from our assorted challenges completed so far. And now we got a little platoon of puppies. just in time for the area to become poisonous. Well, we're not too far off from Shibuya suburbs, so getting that next location challenge shouldn't be too much of a problem. And Shibuya Suburbs successfully reached. Looks like there's a cat here that doesn't like me taking his nuggets. Ooh, nearly got a critical on me. But the tables are turned. Now then, the current plan 
is to make my way through the suburbs to that uh, to that manhole at the top area of, or the top edge of it. And then I will make my way through the sewers to Shibuya Station, and from there on, head toward the Yamanote line and get my archives. A solid plan. Now the question is, can I execute it? I also noticed that Audacity is still running. Did the miracle ever happen? My costume has fallen apart, I just noticed the message say. Ah, it looks like I lost my kitty paws. Oh well. Okay, so I'm looking at the list of challenges for the next block, and I see it wants me to go to Shibuya Shop District, which is right behind me. So I am going to skip out on that whole heading for the sewers thing right now, and just double back and get that challenge completed as soon as the timer rolls over to year 11. That'll cause me some problems with food supply, I'm sure, but it'll get that challenge taken care of right quick, and, well, we've always got puppies if we end up uh, losing one or two to starvation. Well, they look pretty full-grown. I suppose I shouldn't be calling them puppies at this point. There goes the 11 year mark. Next block of challenges is kicked in. And there we go. The Shibuya Shop District challenge immediately completed. That's what I like to see. Looks like a Pomeranian wants to step too. I don't think that's a very good idea. My sister used to call tiny yappy dogs squashables because a lot of them make a big noise and uh, try and make themselves look all dangerous and aggressive when in fact you could just squash them. I think it's safe to say that Pomeranian was a sterling example of a squashable. Well, I hate to do this to a fellow domestic dog, but for my current block of challenges, I need lots of kills and lots of calories. Nothing personal. And we just had an event kick off. The pets of Yamanote line have gone feral. Guess that means there are probably a lot of domestic cats and dogs there. It didn't stay on the map, so I'm not sure whether that means it's a an event that is just an immediate occurrence and then well, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. This is the downside of real time commentary, eh? don't really plan out what I'm saying and end up uh, stumbling and tripping over my words quite a bit more. But I do enjoy the spontaneity. Well, that little scrap with the cats got us all the kills we needed for one challenge. And I believe feeding on their fallen bodies should give me the calories I need, and indeed it does. Oh, and for completing all of that block of challenges, we get a raggedy jacket. Doesn't seem like a great reward, but yeah, we'll take what we can get. I do find it a little odd that the next, uh, the next animal unlock hasn't shown up yet. 
Not sure what the trigger for that will be, but maybe it's in our list. Let's find out. Oh, okay. It looks like we have to change generations twice to activate the Tosa boss. And so I'm guessing the Tosa Eno will be our next animal unlock. So I will try and change generations again as soon as I can. Alright, that palm rolling around down there was too cute. I can't go after it, so I'll eat hyena instead. Not to say hyenas aren't cute in their own way, but... Well, you know. We got wolves. One of them is calling for reinforcements. Oh no, he's not. Well, that worked out respectably. Hopefully our mate prospect over there to the right part of the map got a good look at that. Oh, desperate. Where's the other one? Oh, all the way back there. No way. All right. Hey, no witnesses. Ah, never mind. Uh, how do we get up there to that nest? Looks like some fire escapes or such the like. Nope, just uh, just an overpass. Well, not an overpass. I'm just going to stop talking for the moment because I'm being nice and incoherent. Okay, that brings us to the dear old pooch house. We shall do the needful. Kind of a waste of our many siblings and some of our stat gains, but... Well, at least we have one little brother. And that should, I believe, activate the Tosa boss in the not-too-distant future. Yeah, there we go. Where's he hanging out? Shibuya Woods. And we do have to go to the north part of the map in order to head for the Yamanote line where the archives are, so... Everything's coming up Retriever. Oh, that didn't quite work out. I'm making my way through the sewers to the Shibuya suburbs, or I'm sorry, Sh uh, Shibuya Station shortcut. The food situation has not been very good, but that jack will certainly help matters. And there goes our next challenge block. Two generation changes, lots of markings, and what was the third one? Find giant tuna in Shibuya suburbs. I don't think we're going to get back there in time with all the other business we have. Hey, this is the first time we've seen a horse outside of the story missions. I think that might be a fairly difficult sort of critter to bring down, so I am not going to try my luck with it. Alright, here I have run into a pack of Lycan that are going after my deer. This will not be tolerated. Nor will any ship from you, Beagle. Just 
be a little more careful. I'm kind of getting hurt a bit. But it did get me to boss. Alright, I don't know, don't know how that was a clean kill. That hyena was staring right at me. But we were in the tall grass, so I guess that probably accounts for it. Alright, we are boss, the nest isn't too far away, and we have a top quality mate over here hiding under the dumpster for some reason. Must be the style and clothes. Ladies love the style and clothes. Oh, we hadn't completed any challenges? I thought we had. Well, didn't get to pass on any stats that time, but at least now we have lots of backup. We have now made our way to Shibuya Woods. Oh, it looks like there are Tosa all over the place. This is going to be a bit dangerous. I do believe we're large enough to quick kill them if we need to. If previous find the whatever boss uh, challenges in this particular area are any indication, we are going to need to head to the north part of the map where it leads into the Yamanote line, but that is the direction we're headed to get our archives anyway. Oh shit. Yeah, the Tosa found Oh my goodness, Gravy. They have a hippo style dash attack, and that's that's gonna be a problem. Alright, I don't think I can shake him, so I think I'm just gonna have to sacrifice a sibling here. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, mark that spot. We got a mark challenge happening. There we go. Well, I suddenly find myself very glad I did end up with a lot of extra brothers and sisters. I think we might be down to two of them now, though. Well, they caught up with me again. Are they gonna find me? Yes! The answer is yes. Well, looks like I have at least one sibling still following me. It's one or two, I'm not sure which. Oh, they're right on my ass. I need to eat, guys. Okay, I do still have two siblings alive. That is one good thing. Pursuing these marking challenges has become very dangerous and... Oh, goodness, gravy! Well, that was a successful dodge, but I didn't get the counter off because I didn't... Uh, Realize I wasn't dead. Oh! Oh, that hurt. Pet medicine. You know what? I'm gonna bust out a nail file so I can fight off my pursuers. 
Let's see how much I end up regretting this. Ah! I think I am the last retriever standing. Sure looks that way. Alright. Oh! Didn't get the unlock or the archives. That bites. Well, Operation Airbud was a failure. I think the low visibility definitely hurt me there. So, next time I have to try that, I'm going to do it uh, in the daylight, I think. I'll engineer that however I have to. But I'm not going to try that again right away. Just to keep some variety in the proceedings. I'm going to do Operation Walking Sweater. Challenge block one is live. Generation change. We need to mark four times, and we need to head for Dogenzaka. That's all fairly convenient, because we're going to need to mark to take over Shibuya Station. Then we will be able to do the generation change. And if we're going to be heading toward, uh, toward Shibuya Woods in order to get those archives, we're going to need to head through Dogenzaka anyway. Alright, territory claimed, which should also complete the marking challenge as soon as the game recognizes it. Yep, there it goes. And we are currently a veteran, so an average mate is just right. Okay, my prospective mate is all the way down under the train tracks there, so we're just gonna walk until things fade out, and... Well, that was very discreet for Tokyo Jungle. And now we have a few siblings. And we also have a challenge completion. And it won't be too far from here to Dogenzaka, and that'll be another challenge down leaving us fr uh, free to proceed onward toward where the archives are. Oh, but we've just activated the next animal unlocking challenge. Let's see what uh, oh, the Axis Deer is in Shibuya suburbs. Damn it! Do I go for the archives or do I go for the deer? Well, let's go for the deer. Yeah, the food situation in Shibuya shop is not too bad, so I should be able to proceed through there, keep myself fed along the way, and get to the burbs. And then once again, I can try and cut through the sewers to Shibuya Station, and proceed onward toward the woods. 
which this time will not be completely choked with Tose Inu. Oh wow, I screwed up. I completely failed to go far enough, uh, far enough west to get the Dogenzaka challenge down. Well, you know what? I'm fairly committed now. I'm just headed for the suburbs. That challenge, we'll just have to let that one slip away. Oh, what spotted me? A Silky Terrier? I think we can take it. Oh, vicious little son of a bitch. Am I gonna get my ass kicked by a Silky Terrier? The answer is increasingly looking like yes. Ah, I missed my kick. Get back here, you. There we go. And it just goes to show, unless you have a tremendous advantage, and I'm talking more than Sheep vs. Silky Terrier advantage, just don't go picking fights as a grazer. It just doesn't work out very well. Alright, the shop district is claimed, and I am a boss. Well, the other prospective mate is up just a little bit farther than the nest anyway, so let's see if we would do any better with this one than we would with the average one a little bit south of here. The answer is yes. Oh! Nope, don't want to say hello to the cheetah there. Oh, did it see me? Yes, it did. And taking advantage of the double jump. Worked out just fine. You know, I do find myself wondering, though, why the male sheep does not have any ram horns. Well, never mind. The important thing is we passed on some stats. We have lots of little sheepies forming a conga line behind us, and we are on our way to Shibuya suburbs, where hopefully we will pick up an Axis deer. Alright, we are in the suburbs. There appear to be a lot of cats around. And I don't think they're going to be too effective at ending me, as long as I don't try and take them on directly. Job number one is to find that Axis Deer boss. We don't have to claim territory here, all we have to do is touch the boss. Hey, knock it off. Hey. Those cats can do a bit of damage. I can't really get where I'm going from here, it looks like. Bad kitty! Alright, if things continue as they're going right now, I will probably want to drop a sibling to keep myself alive, but I don't think things have gotten quite that bad yet. Famous last words, I know. Even if I am unable to successfully get to the archives this run, I really do want to get that Axis Deer. Well, there's the 10-year mark, and that means we will have 
failed the Reach Dogenzaka challenge, but I knew that was coming. That was a deliberate trade-off I made for once. I gotta say, the sheep seems to be a very efficient little biological engine. Our hunger gauge drops very slowly. Most other critters wouldn't be able to go this long without eating. Is that true of actual sheep? I have no idea. Please feel free to enlighten me. Still have not seen that deer boss. My cats are still very much on my trail. Persistent kitties. More cats and still no deer boss. And finally my hunger gauge is beginning to drop enough that the game is actually pointing it out to me. Hey, victory! Probably just in time to get me killed by cats and or starvation, but we got our animal unlock, so that's something. Let's see, we've got a challenge involving going to Shibuya Shop District, and that is only one area away. Really tempting. But you know what? I think I'm going to go for the archives. And of course there are jackals down here. Can't have a sewer without jackals. Or something. one sheep down to starvation. Alright, now that I have come out in Shibuya Station, it seems to me that now getting to Shibuya Shop District should be a more reasonable goal. So I'll head that way before I go for the archives, and hopefully I will not live to regret that decision. On the bright side, there is a ton of food here. Okay, Shibuya Shop District Challenge is all taken care of. Now if we can mark all the points in Shibuya Station, then maybe we can complete that Generation Change Challenge and replenish some of our lost fellow sheep. in Yamanote. Whoa! The animals in Yamanote line east have gone berserk, I was saying, before that retriever tried to take a piece out of me. Actually managed to hit with one of the, uh, the grazer dodges and counters for a change, though. And we've completed the grass challenge. Alright, that's the territory claimed. We'll check out the perspective made on this side first. Oh! It's a prime... <laughs> oh man, our prime mate just got slaughtered in front of us!
All right, this one's average, but she's still breathing, and that makes her the lucky lady. I don't think necrophilia is particularly more tolerated among sheep than it is among any other species. go I think that only got me was that one or two more siblings than we had before I am uncertain but it does complete the generation change challenge so that's nice now then we will want to head northward and hopefully not get slaughtered by a beagle Hey, a zebra. I didn't even remember those were in this game. Ah, I think we just found Equestria, folks. Pow! Oh, but the hyena was not the only thing currently uh, posing a threat. Let's see if we can give him the slip by taking the high road. Yeah, that seems to have worked out okay. From here, it won't be far to the woods. And then from the woods, hopefully it will be a reasonably uh, survivable trip onward to the Yamanote line. That is, provided I avoid antagonizing too many bears along the way. Oh, dearie me. Wasn't really watching what I was doing there. Blundered right into a pack of wolves, but I don't seem to be a very persistent pack of wolves, and... Wolves with short attention spans, under these particular circumstances, are my favorite kind. Right, change generations to Times, Calorie Challenge, and Samoyed Enterprises. Where is that? Shibuya Suburbs. I don't think I'm going to be fulfilling that one. Whoa, did you just see that wolf fly up the vine there? That was kind of amazing. Even if it means I ultimately don't live through this, I'm kind of pleased I got to see that. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Super Lobo. Also, I seem to be out of siblings. I think they've all gotten killed trying to keep up with me. Unfortunately, I only have one more marking point to... Oh, no, there they are. Oh, and suddenly jackals. Awesome. That's exactly what I needed at this point in my life. Oh, and they've successfully called for help, and it's all gone wrong. Okay, dropping a sibling, getting the hell out of here. Oh, they got right back on my trail. Not good. Okay, I think I can hang a left and... Mark, mark, mark. Excellent. Now, this is a passable mate over here. Well, actually, never mind if it's a passable mate. If it's any mate, I'm taking it. Average. I am a boss, so I could have attracted a prime one, but average will do if it keeps me alive. That's what I'm going for here. Oh, God. Always it's the wolves. Oh. Still no archives, but at least I did get an... an, uh, what you call it, an animal on lockdown.
And Audacity is still rolling. I think with Amarek TV4, I may have found the magical combination here. All right, first off, I'm going to purchase my new deer. No color or gender options for this one. I'm going to take one more crack at the retriever this session. Hopefully we can get those archives and if I can also uh, take down the Tosa boss, that'll be all the better. E-block challenges are alive. We have to eat, we have to kill, and we have to go to the suburbs. Kill, eat, and move to the suburbs. If that's not the American dream, I don't know what is. Squashables, man. And with the assistance of the Squashables and some deer, we have completed our calorie challenge. And there's the kill challenge as well. Alright, I just claimed the territory, and one of the mate prospects is way up at the top of the map, so let's see if the one that's nearby is any good. Nope, desperate. Alright, I'm just gonna head for the suburbs, because I don't want to have to double back. Well, you know what? No, I take that back. The nearest nest is pretty nearby, so I'm just gonna go for it. Passing on some stats, and having one sibling or two, is better than none. Yep, just one little brother and one in... Uh, one point each in two stat categories, but, well, it's more than we had before, right? Right. And Shibuya Suburbs has been reached. I think I'm gonna go with my previous plan of going through the sewers, coming up in the station, and from there moving on to the Yamanote line. Well, to the woods first, because uh, we're going to have the Tosa challenge to hopefully uh, succeed with this time. We'll just need to change generations one more time to activate that one. Quite a lot of can pack here. Fortunately, they are pretty manageable creatures, assuming you're of a similar size of predator and not trying to take them on with a grazer, as I have too many times tried to do. Oh, they carry bottled water too. D-Rank challenges are alive. Once again, we have to do a lot of killing and eating, and then we have to go to Dogenzaka. Well, if I take the shortcut back to Shibuya Station, we're going to need to go through Dogenzaka anyway, so that fits in with my plans. 
Oh, what did I get the attention of? Another squashable. Rest well, little terrier. I'm a boss because of you. Oh, very nice. A prime mate prospect, and we are a boss, so that works out just fine. I think our nearest nest is going to be up top in the, uh, the pooch house. And then we will have... Sorry, lost my train of thought there. Then we will have a, uh, a good complement of siblings to hopefully survive the whole Tosa business. Because I do believe as soon as I change generations up here at this nest, that is going to activate the Tosa challenge. And I would be lying if I said I wasn't a bit concerned about that. Especially because night is now falling. Then again, I do have to work my way through the sewers to get to where I'm going, so... Yeah, hopefully we can arrange it so that we'll be there in daylight. And there's our calorie challenge down. Let's see how we're doing on the kill challenge. Hmm, just two more. And by the way, folks, I... Hope it doesn't uh, put too many of you off too terribly. That I'm fairly, uh, fairly cavalier when I talk about, you know, all the the killing and eating of various cute animals in my commentary. I assure you, I am a pet person. Just kind of get caught up in the dog eat dog spirit of this game, I guess. Oh, interesting. The Tosa's in Yamanote Line West this time. That could be bad. If there are as many big cats and other critters of that general nature up there when I'm trying to track down the Tosa boss, that could end very poorly for me. Well, fingers crossed. At any rate, we've completed the Dogenzaka arrival. How are my challenges looking? Okay, I still need to take down two more animals, and I've only got a couple years to do it. How's the food situation here? Terrible! Okay, I think I'm probably going to blow that challenge. Oh well. Alright, I am in... Shibuya Woods now. The food situation here is only marginally better than in... Oh, wow. Will I actually be able to do it if I... No, that's just one hyena. That's not going to get the job done. Well, it did get me my rank up, though. Hunger situation is still not great. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to finish off that hyena. Not going to be able to complete that animal challenge, though. That is a bummer. <laughs> I did not realize a retriever could clean kill a challenge. That, or clean kill a tiger, I'm sorry. That was a Hail Mary there. I guess retrievers and Tosa are the same size, because uh, I knew Tosa could do that. But wow. Yep, that counted. That was a serious clutch play on that challenge. I have to admit, I'm a little a little bit proud of pulling that out, even though it was more chance than skill on my part. Alright, the C tier of challenges has kicked in. Need to change generations two times, mark eight times, and... Convenience Store Plaza in Shibuya Woods. I'm not going to worry about that one. My priorities right now are the Archives and the Tosa. And I'm in Yamanote Line East. One of the Archives is here. Food situation is outstanding. But the Tosas and the other two Archives are going to be in Yamanote Line West. And I am expecting a serious clusterfuck there. Also, tripping over hyenas is never helpful. Oh, 
I'm already starting to run into Tosa. Oh, and I'm spotted. Now the hyena's on my ass too. Can I hide? Nope, oh, nope, 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 that's not working out. Alright, there's only two of them. I'm gonna fight. Holy shit! Bolt over my entire line of... My entire family there. Alright, that's one down. I gotta watch that charge attack. Standing in front of them is dangerous. Ah! Well, I have really got to teach myself to respect that charge because now I am free and clear, but I only have one surviving brother. That could have gone better. Holy shit, it's an elephant. Right, you know what? If I can stake out the territory in Yamanote East and hopefully find a decent mate, this situation might yet be salvageable. Maybe. Okay, if nothing else, I can at least say I have claimed one archive. Alright, I've succeeded in claiming the territory. That was a little nerve-wracking in its own right. There's an average mate back there. I am hoping to find a better one over here because I really could use all the reinforcements I can get. Well, daylight happened. I guess that's something. And I am a boss, right? Yes, I am. Oh, giraffe. I also forgot those were in the game. Lions, hippos, I do not want any part of any of these guys. Lycan doesn't seem to want any part of me, so I'm fine with that. Oh, kinda... Oh, desperate! Alright. Well, you know what? I'm not settling. I'm running back and I'm picking up the average one. Alright, come with me. Keep your head down and try and stay out of trouble. Alright, got some puppies and some very nice stat increases, which I like, and it is now night time, which I do not. Alright, now entering Yamanote West, it is still night time, and I am not at all happy about this. At least it's not raining or anything, I can see my mini-map okay. If I just go around this train here, I can claim one more archive. And at least my previous experiences with the Tosas have been something of a learning experience. I know that their charge will kill the shit out of me. Thankfully some food. Oh no, smog. Now I can't see my minimap. Awesome. Well, if I can do any more of that covert op shit like I did with the first one there, life might just turn out okay, but I wouldn't count on it. avoid fighting as much as I can until I find the boss. He is my one true target. Oh, daytime, thank god. Uh, 
I think it's still smoggy, so my minimap is not working correctly, but I can see. And that is valuable in its own right. Go ahead, you kill that chicken and leave me alone. Will I at least get the last archive? Oh, is it on the train? I think it is. So, I'm getting away from that Tosa. Did he see where I went? And it appears he... Okay, he's lost me. Where the hell is that archive? Is it on top of the train? I'm really not sure. My situation's not getting any better while I blunder around trying to find it. And you guys stay distracted with your eating. I got no quarrel with you. Do not know how to get to that archive. Conditions continue to deteriorate. Archive, dear archive, where are you? This is bad. I am severely toxic. I have got Tosa Inu breathing down my neck. It's just not a good time in any way, shape, or form. Can I get up onto that branch there? Oh, this is no good. This has all gone wrong. I'm hungry. I'm toxic. And I cannot figure out what the game wants from me when it comes to that archive. Ah, uh, this ain't working. Time for a bottled water. Some stamina jerky couldn't hurt. I don't know what's going on with the archive here. If I ever understood what to do about that, I, I have long since forgotten. That is not the boss, so I'm not picking a fight. That is not the boss either, so I don't care about him. There is the boss. Okay, when they hunker down like that, they're gonna charge. Good to know. More jerky. Oh, I'm in a bad situation. Oh, dearie me. Well, folks, I gotta tell you, this has got my back up. I am going to uh, stop the recording for now, and I'm gonna be back when I can finish that damnable challenge and collect that last archive. Hey there, everybody. Post-commentary unchecking in. I failed the Tosa challenge one more time when a few of them ripped me to bits on top of the awnings here. Something I should mention that Yuka Takeuchi fan pointed out in one of their very informative comments is that the special abilities some animals have when under computer control, such as the Tosa's charge or the lions and tigers' charged claw swipes, you don't get those when you unlock that animal, more's the pity. Anyway, here is my successful attempt, and the Tosa boss had a pretty serious entourage here, so I didn't think this attempt was going to work out, but for reasons not entirely clear to me, I suddenly got a lucky critical chance and was able to capitalize on that and land the quick kill. So it ended up not being all that difficult at all. Go figure. Here's the clip in which I finally tracked down that archive that was giving me fits. And I feel really stupid now because I was looking all over the place, in, on, and around the train, 
but the archive icon on the minimap doesn't give any sense of verticality, and I had completely forgotten that above the area I was searching, there's an overpass. So yeah, all you need to do is go up this vegetation here, get onto the overpass, and then the archive is right where the minimap says it is. You might think I would remember this overpass, given that in a previous story mission where I was the lioness with the very picky children, I had to come up here and hunt a gazelle, but it wouldn't be I played a thing if I didn't have several critical failures of sense of direction, so it is what it is. Thought you could get away from me, Assistant Record 2. And our last Retriever Dynasty went on to have a rather successful career, including one battle I really wish I'd caught on camera, in which a solitary dog brought down 15 lion cubs, before the final descendant passed away in year 52 from an acute case of lioness claw to the face. Well, that's our lot, folks. This episode was a little bit of a train wreck, wasn't it? I misremembered Act 8 as being the Horrible Stealth Mission, which means we still have the actual Horrible Stealth Mission in our future, my nipples explode with delight. And then I went on to have several unsuccessful outings leading to a nearly feature-length runtime after editing, with relatively little progress. Ah well, they can't all be Maseratis, and we do have an Axis Deer, a Tosa Inu, another batch of archives, and a new story mission to show for it. Could be worse. Starting on Sunday the 18th, I'll be back in the Keystone State for a few weeks, visiting family over the holidays, so Tokyo Jungle will be on pause until I get back in early January. My apologies for the downtime, and I do have a single-serving game recorded that I'm planning to post on Christmas Eve, so it won't be total radio silence in the meantime. It has been a pleasure as always, folks, and I hope to see you then. Today's misadventures were brought to you by Justin Carpenter, Nolden, Zangamarth, Charlie Dunst, Anonymous Benefactor, John Madigan, Sanguine Games, Misha Van Doren, Frank Grizzy, Tim J, Lolo De Puzzlo, Joshua C. Ritchie, Jared C. Rice, Darren Chow, Sonic Rose, EX Potemkin, Alicia Goranson, Argyle Jelly, Mechazorus, DG Jono, Doug Russell, August Fortnight, Patrick Bellinger, Rob Lyons, Andy Kurland, Jerogue, and other generous friends of the show. As always, my effusive thanks to you all, and as always, my thanks as well to all commenters, subscribers, and watchers. I really do appreciate the support, and I hope to see you next episode. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you soon.